Alright, welcome. Welcome to part three of the AI in Excel series. And this one's going to be a doozy. So this one, this is true AI. This is true AI. Now I should start off by saying this is only available in Office 365. So in Excel 365, but it is amazing, amazing. So let's, let's first just talk about it for like two minutes. We have this data, right? A list, a list of people. We have their salaries. We have their companies, addresses, and some other um, information about these people, all right? And every time you get something like this, right? You should probably just make a table out of it every time, right? But despite the fact, if you do a table or not, that, that's not as important as it is. If you want to tell anyone anything about this data, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of pivot tables to first just get the basics, right? It's going to get descript you're going to get descriptive statistics to get to the averages, to get the means, to get the uh, standard deviations, you know, the basic statistics. And then you're going to go, well, okay, what's, what are the averages? Which one is off average? How much is it off average? Are there outliers? And then you start thinking, but that is way, way down the line, right? But now, now you have a command that looks something like this. So if I go to home, I have a command that is called analyze data. And this one, well, it could, it could also scare you because it kind of, <laughs> you know, um, when the discussions of AI are happening and whenever they're happening, right? Um, when those discussions are happening, it's usually, um, oh, it's going to take our jobs away and something. And I was never in that camp. Um, but I can see how this, what you're about to see could get someone thinking, oh my God, I just won't be doing anything anymore. Right? So let me show you this because it's, it is brilliant. So I just select a single cell in my data. I could also select the entire data set, but it doesn't require me to. So I just place myself within the data and I say, analyze data. And it's looking through it. And here's what's happening. And this is, mind you, it took a couple of seconds and I already have some results. So it's saying, okay, look, so what I did, I calculated average salary by department and company, which is cool. You know, this is cool to have. So you could just insert that pivot table and work from there, right? That one's free. Now here it did salaries by department and position. And what it did is it figured out that this chart is the best way of displaying that, right? Again, you could just say insert and you're done. But now here, here we get into things that are, you know, kind of more interesting. So frequency of salary, or the way you should be reading that is, that is actually one of the coolest charts, a histogram, right? A histogram that is statistically much more important than just, uh, you know, dual salaries, which would basically mean nothing. Um, this, brilliant. And then this, now this one goes beyond. This one is saying, okay, look, so if I put salary on the X, so the X axis, and I put a point on the Y axis, and I just plot all of those, there seem to be four outliers. Now that, that is pure brilliance. That is really, you know, heavy duty analysis to get to that. And it's not just pointing them out. It's actually coloring them. It's giving you a chart where you can just see them immediately. Brilliant. And then you can go, oh, well, these four are so cool. Just show me all 29. And there you go. You know, and, and then it has, well, look. 
For Department AI, company Microsoft has noticeably higher points. Right? How deep is that? So I'm going by department, I'm doing the points, and then I'm noticing that if I uh, take just a single department, A1, and I put it by companies, I get a significantly higher result for a single company. Right? Again, outliers. Uh, and you can see you're going to get a bunch of them over here. Right? So this is so brilliant. And then there's also evidence here that this actually is AI because it's giving you a chart like this and then it's, it's saying, is this helpful? And if you say yes, the next time you do analyze data, it's going to think, well, these are the kind of results he would like. Right? And if you say no, the next time you do it, it may pop up again, but if you say no again, then it's just going to say, okay, he's not looking for that. So let's not give him that, at least not in the first uh, four options, right? So this, this is just brilliant, you know. This this really is um, next level or next gen or whatever you want to call it, um, data analysis. But the point here is, it's not that it's going to take your place. It still requires you. It requires you to look through it, figure out what actually means something and what doesn't mean anything, right? So it needs you to look at it, but it's helpful. It helps you. It helps you tremendously. Um, so this, great, but then it gets even better because everything that it does, um, if you look at all these results, in the end, you're going to see at the bottom that it says either insert pivot chart or it's saying insert pivot table. That's the two things that it does, pivot table, pivot chart. So everything that it can return, retur it returns it in a pivot table. Right? But now, if I think about it, now I can go and ask questions to my data. There it is. And I can go somewhere. So I can go something like this. Give me top five. Um, last name. By some or actually I wrote it wrong. So give me top five sum of salary by last name. And now I run it and there it is. That is top five. It's actually, well, it went a bit further than that, but there it is top five over here, right? Now, how did I know that I can write this? Well, because in a pivot table, you can do a top 10, you can do a top five. You can also do something like this. Um, top sum of salary by company show as percent of grant total. Oh, it's not doing that. Um, so it's doing percentage of salary by company. Um, it's just showing me differently. Um, but it, it doesn't matter. Look at what I just got. Right? It did the sum of salary, but then it's showing me that as a percentage of the entire data set. It's this is really brilliant. So the entire data set, because I said of grand total, right, of everything. Um, this this is just you know, it's beyond. Um, so sort department by total points. There they are, right. Again, it's a pivot chart or a pivot table, but the way that you can talk to data now, that's just amazing.
and you can even say how many different uh, let's go last name are there 57 I'm talking to my data and it's returning answers to me in a form of pivot tables pivot columns so this truly is you know something that goes beyond uh, or what is which is the most common first name there it is it's been used three times amazing amazing and um, this if you think about it it really kind of is the future because even if you know there are still algorithms that Excel doesn't even have and that you're gonna open R or Python or whatever for uh, but as a starting point or you know okay let's just feed it in there and see what it gives me that's too brilliant too brilliant right okay well this was the last part of the AI in Excel series I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you learned a lot and I hope you realize that by using this you're just much much better in Excel right you do things quicker and it it can kind of give you ideas that maybe you wouldn't even get right okay well thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one